Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Evening, Max. Ah, uh, I've got it. Great shirt. Thanks. I'm being healthy today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Way to open an audio podcast talking about something that people can't see. <laughs> uh, well, it's I'm very wearing festive. an ugly Christmas sweater. Thank you. It's actually a sweatshirt. If I'm, yeah, let's not. And it's lie. poorly let's printed. Not start like, the look podcast at this gap. with a lie. Spell oh yeah, <laughs> she's nude. Like that, <laughs> <laughs> that Howard Stern thing. Yeah. Okay. So, Christmas so, spirit. Are you in the Christmas spirit? I am, sort of. I Today is my annual hangover day, so I had some spirits yesterday, feeling not so spirited. Spirit Otherwise, away. Yeah, yesterday was my birthday, so I knew today was going to be a rough one, especially because I let champagne happen. Happy birthday. How did you, you. decide on champagne? There weren't any mud-colored beers you could drink? (laughs) I did that, too. (laughs) Would you believe it? (laughs) Excuse me. I I apologize. Mud-colored, mud-texture, mud-tasting. I just want to make sure everything's encompassed in that. Mud beers. Mud water beer. Yeah, yeah. You and your blood light instead of (laughs) mud dark. (laughs) But did you ever see that Simpsons where they um, they were at the brewery? And the guy goes, yeah, I want you to, uh, this is where we brew our, they, it's called Duff beer. And they go, this mm-hmm. is where we brew our Duff beer, our Duff light, and our new flavor, Duff ice. And it has three <laughs> different, like, gigantic um, bar- not barrels or, you know, whatever those drums are. And they have, mm-hmm. you know, a, a running sort of running beer faucets in each one of them. And then it zooms <laughs> out and it's all the same pipe that's just split into three things. And then- <laughs> Three different labels, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I love Bud Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, ice beer has more alcohol in it. That's what that's what they say. That's what you figure out after you spend a night playing flip cup with Natty yeah. Ice, and you're like, what is happening? Why am I dead? What? Did I drink an ashtray last night? What happened? <laughs> at least, at, at least yeah. I suppose that's what happened. Mm, so mm-hmm. you drank your champagnes and you had a nice little happy birthday. Did you get any sort of uh, pastry or something to blow out a candle on? Pastry. It's funny you say p- pastry, <laughs> like not cake. I had an almond croissant with breakfast. I had breakfast. Whoa. I know. What a birthday. I know. Which is the opposite of what I'm going to tell people to do for <laughs> this episode, surviving the holidays. Yeah, see, then you won't feel like crap the next day if you listen to our great advice on staying healthy and... Do as I say, not as I... Learn from my mistakes, maybe. Yeah, right? Ugh, I'm a garbage example. Um, uh, no, croissants are the second best croissant there is. What first, is... The first, first is ham and cheese, obviously. Ew, what? Savory? Get out. Oh, come on. It's like a ham sandwich in a croissant. Yeah, sandwiches are the worst. <laughs> like ruining a croissant. Ugh. Actually pronounced croissant, so it shows how much you know. <laughs> croissant. croissant. That's a French-ass name. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, you know what a, um, a, a cruller, a French cruller? Have you ever no, had one of what? those? No, it's it's like a glazed donut, but it's in like a it's in it's it's as if you took the dough and you t- twirled oh, it. Oh yeah, and okay, yeah. It thing. And I don't know if it's everywhere, but in Boston we call them a French cruller, C R U L L E R. And for some reason, it just burned into my memory that I'm in I'm back in Massachusetts or anywhere in the Northeast when I hear, "Yeah, I'll take a French cruller," <laughs> <laughs> like a French word with a Boston accent. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go, here we are. That's it. I'm home. <laughs> French vanilla and a, and a French crella. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Large. Love it. <sighs> ah, all right. So. All right. So. I'm sure I will feel better tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then I want to hang on to that. Mm-hmm. So this is a great time to open this discussion. How do you not blow it on the, around the holidays? Is it blow it around the house? I, I mean, I, I thought the idea for this episode came up because we were like, we were both, you know, 
talking about, okay, what are you doing for Christmas? So I'm going home, see my mom. That's so great. Except my, you know, the cabinet is always full and it's, you know, four, four times as much food as I'm normally used to. And suddenly Mm -hmm. you open a drawer and cookies spill out like one of those um, (laughs) cracker jack things or whatever. Uh, And then there's bunt cake, or then there's that frosted cake, or then there's uh, almond croissants every morning because your mom wakes up at five o'clock and you, you know, Mm -hmm. or I should say she wakes up five hours before you do. (laughs) Yeah. Which is normal. And so, yeah, I remember very distinctly every single year just going home for Christmas and just December 28 rolls around and I'm like, wow, did I swallow a tire? Like what is happening? Mm -hmm. You know, (laughs) just feels so like blah. Plus I've been probably drinking a lot with my college and high school or local friends or friends and family or whatever, just drinking a lot. Um, Staying up late, you're jet lagged. feels like there's a lot of schlock that goes into running you, running you into the ground during the holidays. And it's back to back because you always talk about stringing a couple of healthy meals together and it's really hard to do. Yeah. Over the holidays. And this is the opposite of that. This is you're you're barely getting a chance to like get something green. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So. You're stringing the alcohol together. Let me say, I was obviously drunk at midnight on Friday night on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so then that just strung into the next day. Yeah. You're like Cinderella. Midday champagne. Oh, midday champagne. Are you a mimosa kind of gal? Or you do that thing that your your meme? Is that is that based on a true story? That's based on a true story. I don't even do the thing. Why would I want a mixer in my 12% alcohol? I'll just have the 12% alcohol. What if it tastes good? You don't like taste? No. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. Hey, would you like <laughs> Would you like champagne to be burnier? You know, like a little more terrible citrus? No, <laughs> thank you. Well, I think our juice is pretty good. I, I will say, however, that I agree with you. It was a turning point in my life when I decided to stop drinking pulp in my orange juice simply because my vodka orange juices with pulp tasted horrible and my vodka orange juice with no pulp tasted fantastic interesting tell me about the pulp like chew- chewing on your vodka flavored pulp great is to pretty me. Gr- <laughs> i mean try it, it out. I, i'm not you know i'll give you my recommendation afterwards which is a thumbs down but try it for yourself i just did a video where i tested juicing on my levels what did you juice it's bad um i just went to a, a juice bar in la and got one that said heart healthy or immunity oh, some crap like that uh immunity it, yeah that's how they name them too yeah. oh, what flavor uh what flavor milkshake would you like do you want heart health <laughs> or vitality and you're like what's in vitality mm. and they're like Four four peanut butter cups and uh, you know a, a Snickers bar and some ice cream and you're like cool yeah vitality definitely I want that. One. Uh, <laughs> so what what happened? Were you bad? Did you spike? Yeah, I mean this is a spoiler because it this will go out before the actual reveal of that video, but you can guess what happened. It spiked but insanely high. Christine really? spiked like high highest i've ever seen her spike and then i spiked 180 whoa yeah have you ever seen 180 it's terrifying i think 80 was big i thought 80 was like a big one no like over 110 is big right Oh, okay you want to stay under 110 120 that's where christine was that's pretty high and you were 180 180 that's (laughs) diabetic levels that's when you start peeing the sugar out because your body can't handle it in your blood get out of here sugar (laughs) that's so horrible and the woman at the juice bar just like did not want to have anything to do with us i'm oh you did it there (laughs) no i mean i filmed there ordering like i'll have one heart health indeed it sounds so oh yes more celery that's it the greener the better (laughs) like that's gonna do anything it's aggressive It was almost too easy, you know? I set the whole thing up being like, don't ever juice. And it's coming out in the new year because I know people are going to be like, oh, I got a reset. I'm going to do a juice cleanse. I'm like, yeah. Or maybe they got a juicer for Christmas. 
Yeah. Oh no. Have oh you no. You got a reset. Anybody? You got diabetes for Christmas. <laughs> can I juice this uh, Snickers bar or <laughs> yeah, a little bit of celery, a couple of Skittles, you know, <laughs> nice and fruity chocolate. <sighs> Uh, anyway, I won't be juicing for Christmas. I will be fasting. Wow. I didn't fast on my birthday, but I think I think it honestly is really helpful that okay, you're going to dinner and dinner's probably at noon because your family's insane. Right. And you don't need to get up and pound some breakfast before wow. you then go have a giant meal. I think that was a was a pretty big hint or secret trick for me was that you know just save all your calories for when you're partying so uh, okay well let me expound on that a little bit i think socially and a lot of families my family for example we sit around and we have breakfast and they went out and they got a dozen bagels from your favorite bagel place and blah 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 or they went and got well. Are they whole the wheat? Then that'll be fine. <laughs> I think that well, well. But what I'm saying is, I remember last year falling into that and just like pounding bagels, and then yeah, mm-hmm. a couple of days later being like, "Wow, why do I feel so blah around 11 a.m.?" <laughs> and it's like, oh, because you just had a bagel and a half and cream cheese, and normally you have water. <laughs> yeah you know? and it's so easy to keep going to you get that one and it's like there's i'll just have yeah, this other it. and your mom's like do you want to split one and you're like yeah i'll split one I have it, <laughs> yeah. you know whatever. sure mom i'll whatever God. you need i would uh, say that what i what i figured out off of that is you can just sit around and have coffee and it's you just sort of like if you make the conscious decision not to you can sort of still socialize with your family and yeah uh, yeah thank god for coffee honestly yeah seriously that fills it gives you an activity it also feels great and appetite suppressant Ugh. You know, i live for coffee know. or you know pre-workout oh i've been doing that i've been going for walks in the morning hot taking water the out pre-work before. sipping your pre-work <laughs> <laughs> uh yes uh tepid fruit punch <laughs> mm, mm, the colors are really dancing in my eyeballs right now i don't know why (laughs) sometimes i mix red and blue and it (gasps) does taste purple purple Uh uh-huh it tastes purple of course it does taste vitality (laughs) i used to do you know emergencies i told you this right yeah no wait what you know emergency that the i know what it is one of the first powder packets of vitamin c and zinc and i actually don't know what else is in there probably vitamin d but it, it's like uh it's uh immunity versus health i would say it's supposed to like mm-hmm. like like not make you healthy but like keep you from getting sick if that makes sense mm-hmm. and so i used to do emergencies all the time but it was it'd be in the winter when i would get sick and so i'd be freezing so I'm like oh, i don't want to drink ice cold water when it's ice cold outside so i would make hot boiling water i put some emergency mm-hmm. in there and i called it emergent tea <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was wow. terrific and every single person i've seen or that has watched me make it to a to a man every single one has been like that's disgusting like had to <laughs> like had to like go out of their way to vocally comment on what i was about to drink and i had to be like, and i have to sort of sit there and be like yeah you know i Try it, you know. Yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> and you just suppress the the suppress the uh, urge to tell them to you know, please don't comment on what I'm eating, you you piece of trash. You know what I mean? Like, but anyway, <laughs> emergent tea, delicious, highly recommend it. It's way better than you think it is. Yeah, so that's you do that during the holidays, just because big time. You feel like it it protects you. It's just another way to. I, I do those vitamin C ones and I do believe in zinc and vitamin D and all this stuff that I, you know, may or may not be deficient in or, or need at certain times of my life. And, you know, I believe it'll, it, 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 how much is it going to hurt? I don't know. I guess we should ask a uh, routine. Yeah. Have Rachel you gotten your Sanders stuff back tell yet? You. I did not. Not yet. Have you? Yeah, I haven't either. Did we send it in like okay. a month ago? Aren't we yeah, VIP? IP? V V V I P. Very very important people. Yeah, I don't know. 
I got something back. Oh, I think I, I maybe it was my DNA test. No. Oh no, I just went to my regular functional Your doctor regular DNA and, I, and my my blood test. I have perfect levels of vitamin D. That's amazing, Shaq. My doctor was like, "That's amazing." I never, it is amazing. I never see anyone like that. That's I was so great. Fully prepared. It's obviously I should take zero credit for this because it's genetic. Come on, Jeez. it's all yeah, that hard be... work I do. Who else is going to take credit for it? Who else is going to take credit for your? I guess your parents can take credit for your yeah. genetics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Spags <sighs> Senior. Yeah. Giving you perfect vitamin D levels. That's amazing. Yeah. So I don't need that emergency with its D. I don't well, know about C. The other ones. Do you know, um, there was another one that I found. This is sort of veering off a little bit, but there was another commercial I saw on TikTok, I think. Mm-hmm. And it was like, hey, do you drink Pedialyte uh, for hangovers? Or do you take emergency? Or, like, or do you take hydration packs? thinking it'll help your hangover specifically. And I'm like, yes, thank you, mm. Instagram, for targeting me really, really, really well. Jeez, yeah. Louise. Uh, and the ad said something like, there's a lot of other stuff in there that's not great. It's good for baby. Pedialyte's good for babies, for example. Yeah. And these uh, immunity packs are good for if you're trying not to get sick, but they're not good for hangovers. And they, they were like, you know, we specifically formulated our powder to... Uh, help a hangover. We put like um, anti-anxiety medica- like medication in oh. there and ginger for nausea and like all this weird stuff that I'm like, wow, dude, that's pretty specific and I can't wait to try it. And now I just, mm-hmm. I'm like freaked out also because of how targeted my Instagram ads are. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we got to try that. But I used to do emergency all the time for hangovers and then, and then we tried all this other uh, hydration packs and stuff like that. So yeah. we should try that one. I'll track it down. We'll, I'll get I'm us a couple down. of packs. Yeah, I have a, I have a handful of ones that it's oh, that uh, milk thistle. That that's always what it comes down to. I like. Oh really? It seems recently in the industry, everybody is really psyched on that one because it helps. Wasn't it car- charcoal for a while or something? Or were you? Telling yeah. Me about well, that? I'm into that. That's one of my. That's your. That's one of my cheats. Yeah. Further. Activated charcoal. Yeah, is that what it's called, or coconut charcoal, or something like that? Um the 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 kind that I use from Bulletproof is coconut charcoal, but I don't know if it has to be activated. What is what does that mean to activate charcoal? And know. is it burnt coconut? Is that what you're drinking? Do they just yeah, light a bunch of which is weird because that and... sounds like it would be a carcinogen. <laughs> yeah, Bulletproof activated charcoal, and it's coconut charcoal. So I think yeah, what I don't know what activated means, but seems that that's what it's better than sedentary sedentary <laughs> charcoal <laughs> you're a dork you know these charcoals just sitting around getting lazy they gotta get out there get to work yeah Turn your yeah feet. but i took some yesterday and i was taking it throughout the day too it makes yeah. a big difference i'll wake up not bloated which oh, wow. is really hard to do after a bunch of champagne so oh, so it's so weird because usually for a hangover you feel like garbage, you're nauseous, and you're all bloated. So I woke mm. up feeling nice and freaking svelte. Oh, wow. <laughs> like super lean, could have not drank yesterday, except that I still had the nausea and garbage feeling. So yeah. it's really weird. It's really weird. Who did we have on here that said, uh, it's, it was some play on words that was like anxiety and hangover. Anxiety. Yeah, anxiety. I think was it that was. It or was it something else? I think it was Rachel Sanders. It might have been. Because we asked her if she drank. Yes, she's like, that's I get right. too much anxiety. Yeah. And we were both like, <gasps> I know exactly what that is. And I love it. And I love you. And that was the smartest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, sure. Still had the anxiety too. Yeah. How did I spend my day opening pop sockets? uh well are you i guess drinking should we talk about drinking when we're home home yeah for the holiday i have that on my list how to just how to, how to drink drink well through your yeah. mouth i don't know i have a drinking <laughs> problem so i i usually use my nose 
uh okay let's see here's the here's the issues of holiday drinking as far as i can tell let's see one it's constant two it's early in the day three that's it's not an also issue late at night because uh, you're seeing that's your the friends issue. yeah if you're doing it during it the day just cut yourself off max what do i say about last call there is no last call Wait, no. <laughs> you I don't you need say, to get drunker to lay in bed. <laughs> I feel like I don't really know what you say. It's, it feels like someone's just tugging at my arm while I'm trying to get to the bar again. That's that's what it feels like. <laughs> Let's get <laughs> out of here. And I'm like, what is that? Is it like a something's Anyway, tequila. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, nine vodka sodas, please. <laughs> Hey, that's a good one though. No mixers. That was mm. that was what I say. It was a, the fourth problem with drinking on holidays. It's like all of these the, the sugary BS things. So if you can not have the mixers, you'll feel a lot better and do you be less bloated eggnog? and gain less weight. What do you drink? Eggnog. Well, eggnog is not good. <laughs> let me let me just say there. Why would you? Like it doesn't taste it. good. No. Right. Also, a serving of eggnog is two tablespoons. Yeah. Wait, wait. One's oh, you mean like a serving size? Yeah. Is two tablespoons? Yeah. Look it up. That's gross. Egg. That's so nog. gross. I also don't like eggnog very much. However, I do know that it is a very sort of popular drink. And I feel like people always say uh oh i'm so hungover must be the eggnog and i can't really figure out if it's if it's the eggnog or if it's all the booze that they slipped into the eggnog both uh, honestly if it. i had sober eggnog i would still feel like garbage <laughs> the next day there's so much fat in it i guess it depends on what kind you get but i will yeah it's it's i have this problem i think we've talked about this where if it is unattainable throughout the year except for a certain season mm-hmm. like mm. a psl or yeah. candy corn right shall we look at all the candy corn that's sitting on my couch right now mm. i i feel as though i should appreciate it while it's th- uh, there and available except candy corn is not good no it's really really quite bad actually. i get shamrock shakes every year too mm. why why would i want my shake to taste slightly <laughs> like toothpaste oh because i can't get it in november <laughs> Talk to me about green beer on St. Patrick's Day. Isn't it so great? Yeah, Do you know what it so is? Good. It's food coloring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> yeah, but it's green, it man. Is. That's the whole mm. point. I, I'm pretty sure I brought my own food coloring to a bar one year uh, on St. Patrick's Day. We should start doing that not on St. Patrick's Day. It's yeah, blue beer day. It's Let's blue go. day. It's, it's Smurf day. Mm. Let's see. Maybe. So, yeah, uh, I will have... I will have eggnog because it's there and, and because I can't have it uh, a month from then. But it's not good. It's stupid. No. So don't listen to me. If I may ask as a complete uh, uh, ignorant ignoramus, egg, ignoramus, <laughs> <laughs> what booze do you put in eggnog? Rum or whiskey, depending uh, upon your preference. So it's like a kind of like a white Russian, I guess. Yeah. Sounds gross. An eggy white. Well, you've never had it? I have had eggnog. The same way I've had all the fish and all the cheese and all the food that I really don't like. I make sure to try it mm. once a year just to be like, yep, confirmed. There Terrible. We are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like stuffing. Stuffing is the greatest food that has ever been made, ever. And Says anyone, everyone. I know. Which is why I try it every year and gag. It's bread. You don't like bread? No, not when it's soggy and came out of a turkey's butt. Well, it's not soggy. No, it's wet bread. Saturated with fat. (laughs) You're not helping Uh, your case here. (laughs) Honestly, I, I think all Thanksgiving food is pretty blah. Christmas food, however, awesome. What's Christmas food? Well, that's tr- true. That's troublesome for me because I have an Italian family. And so obviously I'm having pasta. 
Okay. <laughs> and seven fishes. Seven fishes on Christmas Eve or whatever. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. The girl I used to, or I, the the girl who lives in LA, who is now my Thanksgiving um, tradition now, she is also Italian. And so for years and years and years, she'd make a full Thanksgiving meal. And then, oops, on top of it, here's 400 meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That is the greatest. I highly recommend it. If you don't like Thanksgiving food, introduce meatballs into the equation. And I, I think it'll go swimmingly after that. Swimmingly. It'll make a difference. Uh, Thanksgiving right. food in my growing up, or I'm sorry, Christmas food growing up for us was um, like a ham, like a big, yeah, like a honey roasted ham. Yeah. Right? What it's like, it's what you know, gross. you like want to mix a lollipop in with your yeah, exactly. protein, some, yeah. some syrup. You yeah, know, it it's like so odd. sweet. And but what I would do is I would make a sandwich out of the thing, and then I'd feel like an idiot because I'm eating a homemade sandwich at like a sit down Christmas dinner. <laughs> <laughs> your sandwiches, uh, just bring your own whistle, yeah. slice it open. Close, you're getting there. You've clearly never been to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I would say in terms of eating. Uh, tough you're in a tough spot i would say that my recommendation for eating is schedule in something good (laughs) because then you still kind of do do whatever you want to want and whatever you were going to do anyway but at least you had like something uh, something green in your stomach that already exists you know and then you, you don't really feel like you're missing out. Uh, you just feel like, oh, I guess I'm full now. But you don't realize that the first 20% was a whole bowl of broccoli that like nobody saw you microwave or whatever. Yes. So I, I would recommend just sort of scheduling and stuff like that or, or, or front loading it. Just get it done. Totally. Get it out I of the that way. E- that exact thing written down front loading, but and specifically protein too. So like yeah. you were saying fiber with the veggies yeah try and grab the ones that aren't deep fried veggies and then protein so maybe cut the cut the honey off of your ham but if you have that (laughs) first you'll get to the pasta but you also have a base that like you said will make you feel fuller and will blunt your blood sugar response right right that's a that's a big one the other one i had written down was um speaking of blood sugar go for a walk after you eat Oh, I didn't even have that. That's such a good one. Uh, what kind of a leveler are you? You're you're down to level no. two. I'm at level one right now. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Ever since I did my my tour of levels, that was the one that really stuck out to me. Uh, mm-hmm. Something else. Mayonnaise stuck out to me also. That like mayonnaise spiked so me like nothing else. Which sucked because I really liked mayonnaise. Now it kind of grossed me out because I stopped I stopped eating it. But anyway, going yeah. for a walk after your gigantic christmas meal or whatever a really really helps that blood sugar spike not Mm -hmm. not spike as much i should say b it i feel like it's easy to like get one of your relatives to go for a walk with you after a meal or somebody will be like you you just sort of have to sit there and pat your belly and be like oh Hey, anybody want to go for a, a walk, digestion walk? Is that really what digestion it is? Who knows? Walk. You know, no, I don't know, whatever. And then your uncle who likes cigars or whatever will be like, yeah, I'll go with you, man. You know, and then it's like a thing. Yeah. It's, it feels like it fits really well. And it's not, <clears throat> it's not something that, it, that I think will, it's something that like fits into the night rather than sure. like sort of. Yeah, adds to it. Yeah. yeah. Although most people's go to is a nap on the couch, which is the exact opposite of healthy <laughs> yes that's true that's probably the is that really bad if you tried that one just sleeping after eating i mean i do yeah. that every night <laughs> yeah it's really bad no but have you have you looked at your uh your little uh arm computer yeah overnight if i have a big old meal and then go to bed my levels are like blah, 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 blah. Okay. really high crappy what should yeah. they be like nice and low and level rolling hills no what's what's this what is the sound though <laughs> that's my sustained energy and my superhuman metabolism sound 
That's nice. Yeah. That's, that is kind of soothing. Coming along. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, walk-up TV. I feel like we do that a lot in Thanksgiving. We don't quite do it enough at Christmas. I was trying to introduce a little more. Again, one problem is snow on the ground. Kind of. Right. Although, tough. you know, you get your boots, you get a nice jacket. And, uh, you know, if, if it's too cold, then guess what? You're getting gloves for Christmas. You know what I mean? All you got to do is say like, ooh, it's, cold it's chilly out Helps here. Bring down a, a spike. Exactly. There you go. Activate your VAT. Is that right? Your, or your brown tissue, your brown fat. Ah, uh, the brown. VAT. There we go. VAT. Um, yeah, well, my, you're because you're saying be active right after. I'm saying fit in a workout even on the holiday. So mm. I travel with a jump rope no matter where I'm going. Mm-hmm. And then I know that I can at least do three Tabatas no matter what I'm where I am. I can fit in a high intensity workout easily mm. and feel like I at least did something that day versus just waking up and having that croissant. Which, by the way, on my birthday, after, after I ate that croissant, I immediately went and did a CrossFit wad. Whoa, how'd you so, do? Great. I got a PR on the bear complex. Well, but, sounds like the almond croissant really yeah. busted your butt, you know? And my levels were just fine. They definitely would have gone up like a, like a freaking juice had mm-hmm. I not done that. Like a juice. It's funny too, because like juice is it's one of those things that always falls into that like it 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 has the rep, the reputation of being healthy. Mm-hmm. Is it is it not? I don't know. Oh it totally like that does. protein cookie, it. you know? Yeah. Oh, I should do the, the protein thing. cookie too. No. I don't want to test that. I love but... schedule in a workout. I had written down pack workout clothes. Oh yeah. Which and, and what them. I meant by that was like don't yeah you're traveling yeah it's christmas yeah it's you know you're home and you're doing nothing and you gotta you know walking around the mall oops that's my workout ha 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 but like no dude like plan on getting a workout in don't just give up for the week because you know you get a lot or the five days or whatever plan on getting a workout in schedule it for again front load it get it done in the morning so you don't have to worry about it ever you know Mm-hmm. packed actual workout clothes and make the decision like yeah i know i'm yeah. gonna be a fat piece of trash this week but guess what i'm also gonna <laughs> i'm also yeah. gonna get up early and get use a, the pasta to turn into in. muscle yeah I, I like i also like that you're doing tabatas i think that that's the best i think those are the that's the best thing to do obviously the, you know you can't really do your natural strength training when you're traveling as, as easily but mm. In a pinch, if you don't know what to, that's another thing. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. That uh, I guess I can't work out, dude. Do figure out a twenty on, twenty off, twenty on, ten off, thirty on, ten off, something like that. And like, that's it. That's your whole thing. And you don't, you know, it's it can be all the right. same thing. If you want to do a bunch of different ones, that's fun too. I'm sure there's YouTube videos or whatever, but it's not like eliminating those excuses beforehand is a nice real nice thing to do and on top of that decide you're going to do it anyway is a real nice thing to do and that's that's what i said that's why i had packed workout clothes right yeah yeah that you just already ahead of the game you had to planned it yeah. yeah do your research find a gym every year annually i get yelled at at the local young men's athletic club that i should put a shirt back on put a shirt back on yeah yeah no pants, though. They're fine with the no Young pants. Young Men's Christian Athletic Club? The YMCA. I know. They... <laughs> it's not YMAC. <laughs> Young Men's Christian Athletic. Christian Club. Association, isn't it? Christian Association. Yeah, yeah. I've been terrorizing those young men every year for a long time. <laughs> there was a, uh, a buddy of mine. He used to live in New York. There was something called the New York Athletic Club. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had a really nice facility, and they had um, uh, like a pool, I think. And so, in the middle of New York, like that was really cool. And so, for my friend, uh, he <laughs> he printed up these shirts that said N Y A C, and then in very small lettering, it was the New Yiddish. <laughs> 
<laughs> he like made up some shirt. He essentially just made up some shirt that just said NYA State, and then would would wear it, and then would walk into the club and wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't be a member and he wouldn't pay the <laughs> dues or whatever, and he would just walk in and be like, "Hey, That's how are we awesome. doing?" And he, and I was like, "What does that even stand for?" He's like, "I don't know." I started a. a <laughs> the new yiddish athletic club it just so happens that we have the same acronym and oops i'm hey. here now <laughs> so it was very very amazing he would also uh <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a cool guy he would wear his bathing suit to hotels and just walk in and walk straight to the pool <laughs> <laughs> And he's That's like, what are they funny. gonna do? Are they gonna stop me? I'm soaking wet. Like, what are the, what, what are you talking about? No, I don't have my hotel room key. I was in the pool. Look at me, you know. So. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, I like that. So yeah. you find a gym. You find your own. You used to find boxes. Yeah. Wad cross fit box. Yeah. Fit. Now I'm cool with just big box gyms. I was just mm-hmm. in Arizona and I went to an LA fitness. Mm-hmm. AZ Fitness. Oh, and you did the butt push machine. Yeah. And you loved it? I guess. It just, I it hurt my quad, which made me realize that I just can't activate my butt no matter how hard I try. I think Stanimal would have some choice words no. with you. Pre-exhaust. <laughs> well, no. Clam shells. Mind muscle. Your, mind your, muscle you're not, connection. You're not flexing your, wait a minute. You're not moving the weight. You're Fibers. flexing the but uh, and then the weight yeah. moves. Oh, fuck, it's so good. I think about that. That's a nice little touchstone to, to really think about. Especially mm-hmm. like, it's easier, I think, with um, like a fly. Like a, I was just, just going to say, yeah. Because it's so up, easy about... to do that. If you tilt your chest, your shoulders forward, it's so easy for yeah. your shoulders to take over the whole motion. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you tilt or in your, your bicep shoulders. getting in there, you know. Yeah. And if you really focus on shoulders back and down and you're like, all right, go ahead, go ahead, arms, let's go. And they're like, what? we don't know. What are we doing? And then you're like, oh, huh. Ch- chest, can you, can you help out? And then chest is like, I got you. And then, the, you know, and <laughs> that's then what your know. chest sounds like. <laughs> well, in the beginning, if you're not doing your flies, right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> aye, aye, cap. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, oh, ridiculous um but yeah i hit the gym uh i'm yeah i'm not so picky anymore i'll definitely take a box because i can you know do whatever in there but i'll also take a, a big box gym that's so funny that they're they're completely different but like box big box, box gym, gym versus a crossfit box box whatever can I get, a box? Hits, get it can i get a box uh, we skipped over this one when we were talking about alcohol i meant to say don't forget about water because that happens to me. <laughs> it's like 8 p.m. And, I'm, and I realize I've only had wine today. Uh-huh. So you just, you know, like as your day Jesus. is going through. Yeah. <laughs> you look so great in that video. Can I just say you made Thank the best you. Jesus. I felt great. It felt... Uh, I, <laughs> it came out really well. I thought the uh, the lighting was really, really cool. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was, it was fun to do. My my lucky break, exactly. Uh, and then the the transform, the transform from water to wine was seamless. <laughs> so yeah, impressive. Was so <laughs> uh, for anyone wondering, it took us like forty minutes to figure out how to do a jump cut from a bottle of water to a bottle of Cook's champagne. <laughs> And we My were favorite. just so psyched with how well it came out. Came out great. The whole oh. video came out really good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. The robe's still sitting right here. Maybe I should. Ooh, should I wear that on Christmas Day? <gasps> <laughs> You're like, uh, I don't know if they'll let that crown of thorns on a plane. Yeah, it could be a weapon. Okay. What was the rope for? To tie around your waist just as a belt or whatever, oh, it's fine. You looked great without it. Great. I don't usually wear belts. Or pants, I suppose. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Neither did Jesus, I guess. Neither did Jesus. <laughs> you know those uh, oh man, I just had this horrible idea. Do you know how have you seen those videos where they do they like recreate the training 
um like we did the batman workout and they'll like do the workout from the batman movie or they're like mm -hmm. uh we recreated the rocky workout we will do all the stuff that was in the montage or whatever yeah run up the stairs yeah i bet someone i would be shocked if this hasn't if this is if this is an original idea and frankly when i have ideas like this i'm always like oh that'd be funny i bet there's a real video of it <laughs> and then i go find an actual video of it i bet someone yes. recreated the the jesus workout which is they just like <gasps> dragged across oh my goodness <laughs> however far he had to drag his cross and then uh yeah that'd be a good one I want to look that up now. Yeah. What is because, you know, we always run marathons because that one guy ran from Athens to Marathon. Yeah. Jimmy whatever. Marathon. Yeah. <laughs> this Greek guy named Jimmy Marathon. It was probably, uh, yes. I mean, but it was probably Marathonopolis or something. We just yeah. shortened it. And his son, we're... James Half Marathon. <laughs> James Halfman. Uh that's stupid <laughs> huh. yeah no i'm gonna i'm gonna look that up see that's so that that definitely would push some buttons though if i'm carrying across around la just to be like well jesus was ripped so i don't know i, I think that the the yoked jesus is is its own meme at this point you've seen yeah, those ones of him like definitely. on the cross and he's he's like flexing and he breaks both of them because he's like doing his, his buys. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, there's there's uh there's and there's a bunch of them like play on words like holier than thou and stuff like that. That's funny. That's amazing. Jacked Jesus is uh, I think really really funny. Quite funny. Well, you know where to get a robe if you ever want to make any memes. Thank you. <laughs> um. So what else? I uh, does your you travel with a jump rope. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just packed a travel, actually, and it's pretty extensive how much I prepare. So that, obviously, workout clothes. And then we talked about fiber, you know, trying to... Oh, eat. yeah. I remember you traveling with um, protein powder and then get them stopping you at the airport and be like, hey, sweetheart, is this cocaine or a bomb? And you're like, just kidding. It's whey. <laughs> <laughs> it's glutamine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's really easy to get stopped. Or whatever. They just <laughs> pat you down and just then giant bags of white powder. Yeah, and you're like, it's it's, it's, uh, it's creatine, I swear. And they're like, mm -hmm, okay. Yeah, and I always take it out of the jars too because the whole big thing is too big. Here, I have an example right here because I emptied it. This is now oh, in a the, plastic bag. The tubs, but mean? I have fiber mm -hmm. and this will help me feel more full and then I don't have to pound as, as much broccoli. I will still pound broccoli, but mm -hmm. supplement with fiber. So you bring a jump rope as workout gear or workout equipment. And then you bring yeah. some supplements as like travel, travel size supplements. Mm -hmm. Smart. Cause then, yeah. you know, you can get them. Right, yeah, and getting protein is really hard. So that's a, that's an easy one to get uh, beef jerky mm -hmm. in or turkey jerky in the airport. airport. Although a lot of them have a, have a lot of sugar, so you got to find the ones that don't, or just pack your own jerky. I'm a fan of that. A lot of sugar, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Surprising amount. I've I've spiked from beef jerky because there's a bunch of carbs and sugar in it. That they, the wow. second ingredient is sure you can find some with none though it's really good once you start looking for sugar it's it's horribly shocking yeah. how how much and how sort of ubiquitous it is and, mm -hmm. and in each in any specific thing how much is in each thing like like uh marinara sauce yeah red sauce yeah that's the, so crazy that it, it spiked you know, you. ketchup yeah you know you're like what, whatever who's in ketchup and then you look at it and you're like holy moly like some regular ketchup has just tons yeah. and tons and tons of sugar and it's nuts bread french fries all this stuff anyway that's smart to bring uh yeah i had for like uh i had like uh like again front load um macros mm -hmm. 
ish. Uh, you know, it's just like be aware of what you want to get and have something in the beginning. That's a, that's fairly smart to pre-pack your supplements. Yeah. But except that, for when I you mean, get stopped at the airport. <laughs> Did I tell you I brought a um when I went to Massachusetts, I I got a candle for Brittany and I was bringing it out and shooting. I was like, oh, can you gift wrap that? That would be really nice. She was like, yeah, of course I'll gift wrap it. And then, oops, I'm at line at the airport and the thing goes off. And then she she pulls the present out of my backpack and she goes, what's <laughs> this? And I was like, well, it's a candle that smells really good. Uh, and she's like, I'm sorry, I have to. I have to see it. I have to open this. And it was, you know, it's like a wrapped present with a bow and everything. And I'm like, <sighs> can you just, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> can I take a picture with you holding the present so that she knows that I wrapped it? <laughs> <laughs> and the TSA lady was like, uh, yeah, actually that's, yeah, that's hilarious. And so she holds it up like a fish. <laughs> And then I took a picture of it and I was like, thanks. She'll think that's really funny. And then she's like, sure. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> all the paper, everything everywhere. And I'm like, okay. And then she opened it. She was like, yep, it's a candle. And apparently a candle looks like whatever a, a bomb looks like on the, on the x-ray Jeez. scanners or whatever. So, I, you know, I wasn't like, I get it. They're doing what I would like them to be that's doing. Right. Yes. I suppose. But it was kind of funny that it wasn't like a box you could just open. It was like a full wrapped mm. present. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever, are you planning on gifting anyone <laughs> like a personal trainer session or anything? Wouldn't, and I feel like that would be like a double edged, uh, double edged sword kind yeah. of gift. You know what I mean? You seem unhealthy. Let me help. <laughs> Hey, fatty. I mean, uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. I don't know. Um, I only have one more. What do you got? And it's sleep in. Mm. I have the wary of jet lag, so that that yeah. probably lines up with mine too. So That's sleep like in. Make sure you hack. get your sleep. Yeah, for hangovers, you can't be hungover if you're unconscious through it. <laughs> you can't yeah that's true you can't be nervous if you're sleeping yeah you can't be sad Mm -hmm. uh let's see what else your sleeping is really it's really this the hack you're right (laughs) (laughs) well yeah and that goes hand in hand with if you're drinking earlier in the day just cut it off so that you can sort of clear out before Mm -hmm. you fall asleep and get better sleep Mm -hmm. we've had so many people on that said that the rise guy or uh, mm-hmm. I feel like there's been more people were just like, yeah, day drinking. It's this, <laughs> that's your answer. Alex, day uh, eight sleep said that. Yeah. Uh, well, she said like, just have your wine early or whatever. Yeah. But she said that about coffee. She was like, make sure you never have your coffee like too late in the day because it'll keep yeah. you up. So I think, you know, sleeping is cool. Sleeping is the new thing. I wonder if I it started is having wine before my coffee now. So hack. Smart. <laughs> espresso martinis where do you think those came from (laughs) (laughs) that's fun yeah mine was jet lag be real have a plan to overcome your jet lag do you still work out as soon as you land i never did that i'm not the rock i don't know why you keep confusing us i thought you i mean it's weird because you guys look and sound identical i know and you've been in so many movies yeah exactly (laughs) Same fashion sense. That's Actually, sure. I've never seen him deadlift. Does he? I don't think so. I think he does sort of um, machine stuffs. He does a lot of machine stuff, and I think partially in his defense, it's it's to avoid injury. Um, no, that makes sense. And what does he need that for? He's well, he's trying to look big. He's not trying to compete in powerlifting, right? Which or, is why he and I. No, that's where we differ solely in that. <laughs> and then I actually want to see my powerlifting numbers go up. Right, right, right. He's also Hawaiian, and you're Pittsburghian, mm, which is which is those two are confused a lot. And I yeah. just wanted to make sure, for the record, everyone knows that the the island of Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost an island. You got to follow those rivers or whatever. I don't it know. is. 
it's a weird dialect island that we sound so different than everyone around us and it's so bizarre that where did that come from i've heard that a lot and and uh, and fairly in all fairness i've never been to pittsburgh so i can't really comment on it but every single person from pittsburgh or anyone that's ever described the pittsburgh accent has says the same thing yin's guys want to go downtown Downtown. which doesn't sound like anything it sounds like you're a caricature is that yeah. is there anything else that they say you say or is it just yin's guys? it's, it's how it? you say it versus not really what you're that's the, those are the words that people use because we do have a like of of certain pittsburgh vocabulary like we'll say red up your room instead of clean up your room or gum band instead of rubber band there's mm-hmm. silly things like that the sweeper instead of uh i don't know the real word for it the <laughs> vacuum machine <laughs> A sweeper. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, see, in the same way that when you sound Bostonian, it's it's just a, a dialect, not mm. necessarily the words that we use, but it's how you say things. Mm. I don't know. It's bizarre. Yeah, you get your rivers, and I don't know what whatever the whatever the else you guys are doing over there. <laughs> what do you guys do? I can't even think of a food that you guys eat. Perogies. Hot dogs. Pierogies? Pramani sandwiches. Sounds great. He's going down John Eagle. We'll get some Pramanis. Pamanis? Is that mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> no, Just it's famous. Man- they put fries on their on their sandwiches. It's groundbreaking. <laughs> oh, very clever. Oh, fries and coleslaw. Nice. So that'll spike you. That'll spike you pretty good. Uh, now, when you do you when you go home, do you have certain foods that like you have to have, or are you sort of past that now? Uh yeah, I don't know. There's not like there's not. I guess like, Primanis is the one thing that you can't get anywhere but Pittsburgh. But no, I don't plan on going there. Mm. What about you? Is this... Oh right, you probably have a bunch of stuff. You're like, yes, oh, I have a checklist of, of I have to get this piece of pizza from here and i have to get this really? italian sub from here it's the same place <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know there's there's like a really unbelievable fried chicken place there's an unbelievable um pastry place the north end of boston has all these incredible uh italian restaurants and um coffee shops and uh to the best pastry i don't even like pastries that much sweets but they you know you got to get your cannolis and your lobster tails and all this junk. And, you know, it's, it's just junk and you're, I'm there. And I'm like, yep, I got to do it. Checklist. Boom. And I remember like thinking, wow, this is really making me feel like trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's once the, a year. You can't get it. Otherwise you got to do yeah. it now. But that's what, that's what I started thinking about building in like the have a good meal at some point or have a crappy right. dinner, but have a good lunch or vice versa or whatever, or get some, something green in you. <laughs> at totally. some point i think is like a good rule of thumb good? I'm, I'm excited i feel fully prepared to take on the holiday good i think my hangover just ended nice. thank goodness a weight has been lifted thank you it's a christmas miracle <laughs> <laughs> i'm a happy elf mm. all right well, thanks to the Fitheads. Go have a great holiday. Oh, and don't let this stop you from actually celebrating, too. We're saying, you know, have some water before, but still have the wine. Still eat the the food that you're going to have. And don't, especially on the day of, mm-hmm. go tracking your macros and being crazy, whatever. Just enjoy yourself. That's how mm-hmm. I feel. Me feel too. You agree? Yeah. The roast beast. Have as much roast beast as you can. <laughs> I'm coming to your house. That's weird. <laughs> it's got an apple in its mouth mm. tied to a spit. <laughs> All right. And if you can rate and review on Apple Podcasts, that helps us out a whole lot. Happy holidays, and we will see you next week. <laughs>